Hi everyone. I got balloons for my birthday. We like to do helium balloons for birthdays at our house. Just got in the door from a little trek down to Hobby Lobby and Joanne and Brad had balloons for me so I thought you know I'm just gonna shoot the video today. Who doesn't love a balloon? And I was planning to do March Makes tomorrow, but I might push that off till Sunday or Monday because you guys are going to get sick of me. And I want to show you what I have today. Now, I have fabric to show you. I have patterns to show you. This fabric, oh, there's a big old box of it. It was purchased before the big put the brakes on. It was purchased before then. And in fact, this little stack came in the mail yesterday. And I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know where my head is. I am turning 56 today and I think this is the beginning of the end because when this arrived on my doorstep, I had no idea what, what's this? Oh, it's from Fashion Fabrics Club. Well, I didn't order anything from them. I wonder, oh, did someone send it to me? Did they see my video and decide to send me some complimentary fabric? This is going on in my head, right? I open it up and I'm like, this is beautiful fabric. I would have chosen all of this for myself. Whoever picked this out really knows me because, oh my gosh, this is so great. There's the invoice. Uh, hello? I ordered it? Yeah. There's not some stranger out there sending me fabric from Fashion Fabrics Club. I guess in my lame defense, I did order it March 15th, so it arrived March 28th. That's, yeah, that's, that's a bit of time, long enough for me to forget that I ordered it. It is not complimentary. I paid $48.89 for it. But for a minute there, I'll tell you what, I thought, wow, it's my lucky day. <sighs> okay, look at these. These are beautiful. These were uh, pre-cuts. I didn't know that Fashion Fabrics Club does that, but they do. And I happened to find these deep within the website. Really don't even know how I did, but um, this is Berry Pink Taupe Floral Rayon Chalet. So it's a bit of a border print. It's so pretty. It's gray and all these beautiful tones of red and pink with that print on the bottom. It is a two yard piece and it was $7.60. Completely forgot ordering that. Um, I got some more polka dots, okay? This is dark beige and black. Two and a half yards of polka dot rayon shelly. These all had stickers on them. Yes, two and a half yards of that. And that was $8.60. And again, that is another rayon chalet. Then I got a brassy brown chalet. This is four yards. Brassy brown. This looks a little green. I don't know. This is this is kind of an odd color, but it's just strange enough that I like it. It is four yards and it was $14. That too is a rayon chalet and this one's pretty thin. I can see right through it, kind of. That'll be a dress, kind of a funky dress and I'll show you my new Berta pattern. I went down to Joann's today because Berta 
uh, is $249 and Simplicity is $199. So the last piece I got was a, what is this? White Black Cloud Sweater Knit. White Black Cloud Sweater Knit. And that is one and five eighths yards. And I got that for $4.76. Very, very light sweater knit, but very soft. Might be masculine, might be a good one for Brad. This, oh no, these two, I need to show you these. I've never ever ordered from fabric.com. They irk me and I'll tell you why. I think they are overpriced and I had to let them know because they sent me a survey that I do not, do not like being told a minimum yardage that I have to order. And they tend to do that on their clearance fabrics. So you'll see a great price. Oh, a Talio Pebble Crepe on clearance for $5.34 a yard. And then you click on it and they say, you have to buy five yards. Or I've even seen you have to buy seven yards. Ugh. Well, this fabric is a Talio Crepe. It has bees on it and I made my sister a tunic for her birthday. I call her B and I was trying to find pretty B fabric. I couldn't find anything suitable and then I did see this on fabric.com and that got me to order from them. It is very light. It's a crepe and I made the tunic and I'm trying to convince her to come on so you can see it and meet her. And then while I was there at fabric.com, this was another, I believe this is a Telio. It is a bubble crepe, so it has a little bit, it's more orange. Let's get it back here where it's a little more accurate. Very cute print. It has like hot air balloons and palm trees and bicycles and lounge chairs, backpacks, suitcases, sunshine. I believe it's called Adventure. It is quite sheer. So whatever I make with this, I'm gonna have to line. But isn't that pretty? These were in the $6 a yard range. This was a minimum order of two, which that's fairly reasonable. And this didn't have a minimum order, believe it or not. But they did send me a survey and um, asked for my opinion on the website. So I let them know, I don't know. What do you think about that minimum order requirement? The last order is from our dearly beloved Fabric Mart, purchased, as I say, before my moratorium, my self-imposed moratorium. Uh, caramel brown tencel rayon blend. Love the brown color. Tencel rayon just has a fabulous drape to it. it it's lovely. It's beautiful. Um, it's not that thin. I would classify this as mid-weight. It was $14.99 a yard, and this was during their all-site 60% off. Tencel shirting. Do you all remember kettle cloth from back in the day? A very sturdy, strong cotton that was not prone to wrinkling? Well, I don't know what happened to kettle cloth, but this is really close to it. They call this cotton lycra floral. Well, the minute I took it out of the box, this does have a little bit of stretch. That's the lycra. It is extremely sturdy. The back is white. The colors are bright. The weave is fairly pronounced. And I just thought, that's kettle cloth. Admittedly, kettle cloth did not have spandex in it, but 
that is just about as close as you can get. I'll link it below in the description box in case you want to check any of these out. I was shopping on a day when the entire site was 60% off and shipping was half price as well. Um, boo -boo -boo. Crepe Twill. Crepe Twill by Halston in a an all-purpose off-white. This is lovely. It has a little bit of stretch, has a lot of body, good weight to it, pretty opaque, multi-purpose. Don't know if I'll make a garment out of this, but this makes fantastic pocket linings, any kind of lining really, um, trim, hem bands. I'm a hem band fan. This is is this an IT wad? Well, this just has a million colors listed on it. Dark cerulean, shadow blue, light steel blue, white, multi-large, wavy. And yes, it is an ITY knit in shades of blue with wavy lines. Very, very nice, very pretty. It was $9.99 and I got it for 60% off from Fabric Mart. I decided to go off on a tangent and put file, F-A-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, in the search bar and something came up. It is black, chalk, silver, cotton, polyester, nylon, metallic stripe, file. And I was just curious enough to see what file looks like, so I ordered it. It has a shimmery stripe in there in silver. There is no stretch. It's pretty strong. It's sort of a loose weave, so it is translucent, as they say, when you hold it up to the light with those big, bold stripes. And I ordered two and a half yards of that. This looks like seersucker or cotton, but you might be surprised to know that it is nylon. It does not look like nylon and it doesn't really behave like nylon. There's no stretch whatsoever. It has those cute flowers embroidered in it with a little, almost like a pillow ticking stripe in blue and white. And I ordered three yards of that. I'm thinking of a summer dress. Rather sweet, isn't it? It was $12.99 base price, 60% off. And finally, Colin was so enamored of the Delray horse racing fabric in black that when I told him they had it in ivory, he said, yes, let's do it. And he would like, I believe he wants a button shirt out of this one. So that is where the turf meets the surf at Del Mar. And that is a beautiful woven rayon, rayon cotton linen. That's a dynamite combination right there. This fabric just has a lovely kind of a slick hand to it. Great colors. So that's my fabric update and Quickly, I'll show you a couple patterns that I'm loving. This is a vintage simplicity that I ordered off of eBay to make a summer dress. Takes me right back to the late 70s. That is Simplicity 8483. You can make a dress or a top. I'll be making a dress. And if you look closely, I think that they have pictured that in kettle cloth. And my other vintage pattern that I received is this adorable simplicity from the 1960s, 3742. 
My favorite shirt is this one with the little belt detail right there. You, in, you make a casing and insert ties and then cinch them and tie them on either side. I thought that was so cute. My other patterns are, uh oh, um, from my trip down to Woodbridge today to catch the Berta Simplicity sale at Joanne. Now, I've said before that Berta patterns can intimidate me a bit, so I chose the real easy ones. Hey, no shame in easy, right? Berta Style 6330. I'm loving that. That is a top that you can put ties in at the side seams. And you can also color block this on the longer tunic. Berta 6345. Very easy style. Cut on sleeves. Dolman, I guess those are called. That too, you can color block or play with stripes in the way you position the arrows or the stripe orientation rather. Cute. Summer dress, Berta 6496. I love the long one and I think I might put short sleeves on it. I might be entering the no more sleeveless years. <laughs> oh, the relentless march of time. All right, so that's Berta 6496, basic and cute. Berta 6610. I like the little jacket because it has darts. And it's just a simple, no closure jacket. You can also choose to close it up the front and turn it into a tunic. Berta 6415, a knit top, and it has a yoke, which appeals to me. There are the line drawings. That looks like an easy and quick sew. Berta 6313, this is a baby doll top. I know it's a little, a little sweet, but I like the long sleeve one, maybe not the one with the little wings, but this one appeals to me. Even though we're heading into summer, I could make it out of something really light, like voil or lawn, and it would be nice and cool. Berta 6363, shapeless tent dress, bag shape. I always forget what these bag shapes are supposed to be called cocoon, a cocoon shape. Um, I would not wear it with flats. I will probably wear it with heels. And I just, I love dresses like that. I grabbed two Simplicity patterns because they're $1.99. I love the sleeves on this. I would not do that neckline. I would just put in a regular old neckline, but look how the sleeves tie. I thought that was really cute the basic sheath dress and you can do a lot with that. This is a new release pattern. Let me get the correct pattern number for you. It is 8872. That's a throwback style. It's putting me in mind of the 1970s with the ruffle and the empire waist. And I love it because it's a pullover dress. You don't have to put any zippers, buttons, closures, snaps, nothing. Pull it over your head and go. I've had a lovely birthday because I got to buy patterns. I didn't buy this fabric today, but I wanted to show it to you. Look for my March makes coming up soon. I'm really behind in answering everybody. <laughs> you know, I sound like a broken record. I do read all the comments. I love your comments. If you don't hear back from me, um, you might, but know that I've read your comment. And nine times out of 10, I've read it to Colin or Carol, my sister, or Brad, 
just because I love sharing what you guys write. So I'm wishing you a happy Friday and uh, I hope sewing is going well for you. I'm gonna be back soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.